Uh, did you hear? Sorry, I'm Max. Vortex Club oh, members only. I Sorry, I'm on the guest list. Nice. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out without attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were abaddon -esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her something to the start. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? 
some humanity, Victoria. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. I'm not the only problem child at Blackwell. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw and heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now, so listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious notes, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. <gasps> Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Au revoir. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, in Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Oh, I will. You didn't help Kate at that party. You knew she was totally wasted. Then you sent the video to everybody just to twist the knife. Wow, are you kidding me? I didn't make her drink that wine. Nobody pushed her tongue into everybody's mouth. I watched her, Max. Then shame on you. And you know Kate was dosed, no matter how much you deny it. That's why she ended up on that roof. And you made sure to take one last video of her, right? I deleted that video from my phone, Max. Oh, I bet that comforts Kate's family. I don't even know how you sleep at night. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Your photographs suck, Victoria. You make fun of my selfies, but most of your photos are basically headshots. I don't think Richard Avedon has anything to worry about. Oh, you did not just say that. I can't wait to see you choke when Mr. Jefferson selects my incredible photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. Uh, yeah, I saw you try to blackmail Mr. Jefferson last night because you're so incredible. That was so pathetic, Victoria. Uh, 
no, creeper. We were talking about the contest. And you're just jealous again because you've got Mr. Jefferson kicked out of going to San Francisco. Like he cares about you. Like Mr. Jefferson gives a shit about you either. I mean, have you ever even watched his body language when you try to cuddle up to him? <sighs> Sad Ha ha! By the way, nobody says we have to be friends, Max. Good. I have real friends. I wouldn't want a fake one. You try to act like all shy and humble. You took a picture of me covered in paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. And you trashed my room after, so stop whining. You did that? You bitch. You could have killed me with that fucking can. I almost got that freak Samuel fired. And that would have been bad. You're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me. No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch, you won't. Never mind. It was good talking to you, Victoria, as usual. Eat a dick, Max. You're just jealous of me because I actually do the things you can't. I put my photographs out there while you hide behind your lame retro self. At least tell me where Nathan is. Uh, why do you want to know? Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. Then why ask me? I haven't even seen him tonight. Adios. Au revoir.